and welcome to my next smartwatch review. This is the Rogbid Millie smartwatch. Oh, sweet Millie, not slick Willie. So this is a military style, heavy duty, rugged smartwatch. I'm going to show you what comes out of the box just very quickly here. I'll go charge it up for several, several hours till it's full. I'll wear it for several days and then come back with my full, fair, and honest review. Now, Rugbit did send me this watch in exchange for a fair, full, and honest review. That's what I do here. Uh, but I can say anything about this watch that I want to at this point. Uh, let's see, it's got that nice, rugged-looking display. It's got what looks like um, screws in here, but it's actually just stamped into the metal. It's little stars stamped into the metal, so it's more of a, an aesthetics thing. You've got a button in the middle here. Let's press and hold that and see if anything happens, see if it has any juice out of the box. It's got an upper button and a lower button. I'm not sure what these buttons do yet, but one of them, there we go, that one turned it on. It's the top right one. So yeah, it's got some juice out of the box. Looks like a nice big display, pretty responsive. Um, yeah, it's a nice looking watch. It's gonna look pretty good on the wrist, I think. I'm gonna charge it up and uh, through the magic of editing, you will get my full review and opinions in just a couple seconds. So I just started my first hike with this watch, so we'll see how it does. Let's, uh, let's go for a nice little hike here. And the watch is IP69 waterproof, which gives you up to five atmosphere of pressure. So if you're hiking along and say you see some Bitcoin in a creek and you find it, you can reach in and submerse this water with impunity. It's gonna hold up, it's nice and waterproof. All right, another creek crossing, and if you look carefully, more Bitcoin. I'm gonna reach in and get that bad boy. Oops, the watch got sucked. Yeah, man. All right, we have yet another creek crossing here. Oh, shoot. More Bitcoin. I am not gonna tell you where I'm hiking today because I don't want you to take all my Bitcoin. This is amazing. Okay, so here are my statistics for the day so far. My step count. You can see my hike after work here. Uh, we'll go back. It didn't get sleep last night. I think it's because I charged the watch up late and I didn't wear it enough before I went to sleep. We'll see what it does tonight. My continuous heart rate, all right. My average heart rate in beats per minute. Continuous heart rate, again, uh, okay. Current heart rate, continuous heart rate. There we go. That's the one I was looking for. All right, we'll go back. Uh, my blood pressure, I think this is a little bit low, but let's let it continue to take some readings and we'll see how it does. Blood oxygen saturation, that's right in there with everything I know from other watches. It gives you a stress reading um, and it, it gives you a range, relaxed, normal, medium, or stressed, and it tells you what zone you're in. Uh, again, this is just day one. I've not even quite been wearing this for 24 hours yet, but here's the hike I did on foot two hour hike it says 5.7 miles i think that's a little bit low compared to what my gps said but it gives me my number of steps my uh estimated kilocalorie burn my average heart rate and it tells you what heart rate zones i was in for that hike so so far so good today i'm in my belliac i'm just gonna head upstream see how many people i can see paddling maybe be a little bit of an ambassador for the sport chat some people up um, I'm out here really just to relax and have a good time today. I'm doing a smartwatch review, continuing a review of the Rugbid Millie, rugged outdoor smartwatch. Uh, with these belly acts, you actually wear finger fingered gloves, and these are your paddles. So this watch is going to get dunked many, many, many times today. So I'm, I, that'll be a really good test of this watch. Okay, so from that previous sequence, you can see this watch is very, very waterproof. I had a little bit of fun there with Bitcoin. Uh, but when I was out on the Belliac using the, the fingered webbed gloves as paddles, this watch got dunked, I'm going to guess, hundreds of times while I was paddling up and down a river. So it is waterproof. No question about that whatsoever. I like this display. It's nice and big. I think you're either going to love or hate the overall look of this watch. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of going to be a personal feeling sort of thing but if you scroll down from top to bottom you can get to your settings your display settings you can adjust your brightness um, i generally turn these all the way to the lowest setting to save uh battery life 
you can select different watch faces. There's you know a number of them here, but there's a whole lot more in the app, and odds are you're gonna find at least a few that you really, really like. Obviously, the one that uh, I have on my watch here is the one I like the best. Uh, for Americans, the, the date is a little odd. It's giving you the date and then the month and then the year. That's a little wonky. We're used to the month and then the date and the year. No big deal. But you can switch this from Fahrenheit to centigrade, no problem. Swipe up, you get your messages. I deleted my messages for the purposes of this review, but trust me, it works just fine when tethered uh, to your phone via Bluetooth. Scroll from left to right, you can see your activity levels for the day. All right, and if you scroll up from there, there's the step count, the kilocalorie burn estimate, exercise, steps, um, and it, it just gives you some averages. And you can add well, what watch faces or what screens you want here, what tiles, let's say. Here's your continuous heart rate. I've got mine set to every 30 seconds. You can change that. Here's your SpO2. It's actually uh, using the red diode for this measurement. Let's see if we can catch it in a moment of truth here before it fails. Um, it is using the red diode, trust me, it's got both red and green diodes. Blood oxygen saturation I find extremely credible, right in line with everything else I know from every other smartwatch. Sleep tracking, let's get back to that in a minute. Uh, it has not worked for me, but we'll look at it in the app. Blood pressure, I think it's fairly credible, maybe a little bit low, um, but it's decent. I mean, if you're just looking for trends and changes, it is good enough. It can pull in the weather from your smartphone. Again, when tethered uh, with Bluetooth, and you can get your, your weather forecast for the day and the upcoming week, and it, it, it's nice. I really, really, really like this, especially for an outdoor rugged watch. And then you have your exercise modes. This has 100 plus exercise modes. Um, I've done strength training in the gym. I've done kayaking. I'll show you that in the app in a minute. Um, walking. It's just got loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of them, and you can add more. Then there's a whole database put into categories here. So there's a lot of activities. Please note, this is not a GPS watch, all right? So this is just gonna give you your estimated kilocalorie burn and your continuous heart rate over the uh, course of that measurement. It will give you a stress measurement. I'll show you this in the app too. And you can set alarms on the watch to make it buzz to wake you up. And here's where you can add tiles. Um, if you make a lot of calls, you can add the calling feature to the watch. And I've tested this, it works fine. Again, you have to be paired with your phone via Bluetooth, but you can make calls right from the watch and it works. It's got a speaker and a microphone built in. That in and of itself is very, very cool, all right? Um, and some other tiles here, if you wanna control the music on your phone, uh, if you wanna use this as a remote shutter for your camera, you can do that. Um, it's got a calculator you can put in there. It's got games, I, you know, I don't do games. Uh, but essentially, the top right button will wake you up and get you into the various other modes. The bottom button will get you into your exercise modes, and if you press that middle button, it's going to get you back to the main menu. So that's the, the structure of the buttons here. Press that top one twice. This gets you basically into any mode in the watch, which is really cool. Um, you know, it, it, any function or feature this watch has, you can get there from there. Um, so let's go look at the app and then I'll give you my overall ending thoughts here. And here you have that day fit app where you get your steps for the day and uh, you can go back to previous days um, over time. Okay, let's see how we would do that. We go to the week and we can look at Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You can go back through various days. Uh, here's the sleep tracking. Again, I've worn this for four days now, and it did not track a single night of sleep for me. I don't know why. Maybe it's something I tend to toss and turn a lot when I sleep. I don't know, but for some reason, this is the one function that did not work for me on this watch, so keep that in mind. Continuous heart rate. Uh, again, it will keep track over time, over the days, give you your high, your, your low, and your average. Continuous heart rate, I've got mine set up to do every 30 minutes. You can look back over the weeks and months. It will do your blood pressure. Again, there are my readings. I think this is low. I know this is a little low, but hey, it's, it's, with, it's within the ballpark. And these things should be used in a relative sense where you, you track your blood pressure. And if you see a significant deviation from what you're used to seeing, then go see a doctor. So here you can see 
my measurements over the, the, the course of many days here. Uh, some of them were, I think, closer to what they should be, like one, 108 over 77 is, is closer to what I would expect, but, uh, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but it's pretty close. Blood oxygen saturation measurements, I think these are pretty good. I like them a lot. And here's that stress measurement, and it tells you, uh, you know, whether you're in the relaxed zone, the normal zone, the medium stressed zone, or the highly stressed zone. This, I can only assume, is doing some uh, derivation of heart rate variability, whereas the less variable your heart rate, the more stress you're under, the more variable your heart rate, the less stress you're under. Go research it on your own, but this seems to be the way this is implemented. Um, so I'm in the normal zone 94% of the time, and I'm relaxed 6% of the time. So that's an indication that I'm not overly stressed. I'm not overly uh, under a lot of pressure or whatnot. GPS exercises, it only does that if you're tethered with your phone while you do exercises and you have location services turned on. It is not a GPS watch. And here is your exercise record. Here's that kayaking I did in the Beliac yesterday. It gives me the time engaged in it. Uh, the amount of time spent in light workout zone, heart rate, uh, you know, weight uh, kind of type of heart rate zone, aerobic, anaerobic, VO2 max. And you kind of get that sort of data, an estimate of cal calorie burn. Uh, let's see, can I go back? Yeah, there it is. So here's the strength training I did last week. And again, it just gives you, you know, your time spent, estimated kilocalorie burn. And here's a hike I did last week. It gives you your number of steps, uh, 12,574, your mileage, 5.7 uh, miles. That's low. Again, I was not tethered with my phone, but I was wearing another GPS watch on my other wrist. And that one showed about 7.5 miles. So, you know, take this with a grain of salt. It just does its best guess. But in the settings, you can set your stride length to make that more accurate. An estimate of kilocalorie consumption, your average speed, your average pace, your average uh, heart rate and beats per minute. I like all this. It's, it's good stuff. And you go in, you can personalize it a bit, set your goals, look at your profile. And uh, here's the watch. You can look at all the watch faces here. You can go into the gallery and view more. I've been wearing it four days. Like I said, it still has 86% battery life, which is amazing. And you can go in and look at your various notifications. I tend to only have it, you know, uh, when tethered with my phone, give me phone calls and messages. I don't want a lot of alerts and stuff binging and bonging and buzzing at me all day constantly. I think that's unhealthy for all of us in this modern age. I think everybody should silence their phones and turn off their notifications and alerts. And you should manage your phone, don't let it manage you. You should go to your phone when you want to see what happened you shouldn't have it constantly binging and bonging you and running your life. Just that's my little, I'm on a little soapbox here for, for mental health. Don't let these gadgets and devices rule you. You take control over them. And, um, you, know, it, you know, that's the basics of it. So there you have it, the Rogbid Milli. It's a Bluetooth uh, low energy 5.3. Uh, it uses the DayFit app. It's got Bluetooth calling, call reminders, message reminders. You can reject calls right from the watch, heart rate monitor, blood pressure monitor, monitor, blood oxygen saturation monitor. You can set a sedentary reminder to uh, kind of prod you to get up and move if you've been sitting too long. Sleep monitor, sitting reminder, drinking reminder if you wish, 114 plus sports modes, and on and on and on. It is a very tough, rugged, military-style smartwatch. Um, it's five atmosphere, uh, waterproof. That's IP69K, so that's a lot of waterproofness. And if you don't know what IP67, IP68, IP69 means, go look it up. It gives you an indication of how waterproof these things are. And this is one of the highest ratings I've seen. The screen size is 1.91 inches, and that's measured diagonally. Uh, battery capacity, 520 milliamp hours. The resolution of the screen, 320 by 385. Standby time on that battery is about 60 to 75 days. Using time, 12 to 14 days. Charging time is about three hours. Um, hey, uh, band material, silicone. I like it. I think right now this is selling in various places in the $30 to $40 range. And I think it's an amazing value for that amount of money. 
That said, the sleep tracking didn't work for me. So go check it out. If I can get a promo code for you, I will put it in the show notes here. Uh, the good folks at Rogbed sent this to me uh, in exchange for this review. And uh, hey, this, this review, this channel is really about kayaking. Um, and health and fitness. I own a high-end kayak manufacturing company, so my smartwatch reviews really support that business. Um, if you would go check that out at DaveTheKayaker.com, I'd appreciate it. You could drop a little donation here on this channel. You could go to my main website at DaveTheKayaker.com and donate there to support the kayak business. Otherwise, these smartwatch reviews on YouTube really generate just a tiny bit of revenue and what I do is invest that revenue back into the channel to um, buy more smartwatches, to do more reviews, uh, so I can bring them to you. And, uh, you know, this, this all supports uh, my YouTube channel, of course, supports the kayaking business. So I appreciate you. Um, until next time, be healthy, be safe, be fit. And I'm going to stall a little bit just so you can see this SPO2 measurement in real time. 98%. So yeah, works well. Uh, stay, be healthy, stay fit, and I will talk to you again soon with a fresh smartwatch review or some kayak-related activity. Let's just see what we get. Who knows what could happen here? When you want an extraordinary racing kayak made in the finest American tradition, or maybe just own a piece of American kayaking history, You want a West Side Boat Shop Kayak. Now available from DaveTheKayaker.com. West Side Boat Shop Kayaks. The tradition continues.